So it was like growing up with a dad as a deacon. I think people would stop and say that it's something that's a calling for the deacon, but I think as we grew up, we watched him make his personal response in, to God, and then it gave us a chance to get our own personal relationship with God. So I never grew up believing that I was sacrificing things or my dad was sacrificing things. Sometimes we didn't have him sitting next to us at church, but we had this incredible like bond that was a given because we had dad to yeah. show us. Like we lived church. Yeah. I think like, like we lived God, right? One of my fondest memories real. while my dad was <laughs> in the diaconate was they did family retreats. Mm -hmm. So we had the chance to travel and to be a part of the whole process. So it wasn't something like dad's doing this and you're over here. It was more of like the family is doing this. And we actually would go to Cape May in New Jersey every year for our little family retreats. And it is something that we talk about every single every year. Day. It was in fact every part day. of my sister's <laughs> eulogy to my mother was our the moments that we had on those retreats. So for me, it was never an individual thing that dad does this and we do that. It was more like the family is going through the diaconate. And I think that that program really even instilled me to be involved in the church to the point that we all are volunteer on our own level now because we saw what a beauty that was when my dad was doing it. <laughs> I, when I was asked, I was saying that it, um, it was always an honor and a privilege to watch dad. Like you felt like, wow, that's my dad that's up there and, and, and doing what he was doing and helping other people and that watching him help other people build their faith and just listening to him gave you such a foundation that you wanted to pass that on. and. It gave you, um, I don't know, uh, I felt closer to God my entire life watching him and like you were saying, not sitting with him at church, but we sat behind him. Yeah. So he was always with us and present with us, even though he was up on the altar, but it was like a, a beautiful experience to just watch him and then watch him grow in his faith made us grow in ours and I don't know, I always felt very close to and he talks about the sacrifice that we had to make, but I don't think it's any different than a sacrifice that anybody makes whose husband works a second job or yes. mom goes to weddings on a Sunday. Or I think it's a part of what people do when they love a family. So for me, it was like my dad just had a second job. He just went and did what he did and brought it back and shared it with us. So he talks about it being some sort of immense sacrifice, but I think it's something people do on a daily basis. Your mom and your dad just do what they need to do and my dad's calling and he was blessed that he had the time to be able to do it that he was absent on some sundays but that wasn't i, I no. never stood out to no. me as anything like a big sacrifice um and then he brought things out and then he did you know, we, we always were we, we, we always were always had, like prayers and we said prayers yeah. before mm -hmm. meals and like like we lived but we were always involved too like as a family and being a deacon we painted the um Stations of the Cross, and right. Mom would always do like the Advent wreaths, and we always, as a family, he would lead stuff, but we always kind of Turned were in. involved. Yeah, it's made church real. Yeah, like we had to live it. Like, yeah, it wasn't like it was just a separate place. Was there, like, I mean, it, we laugh now because we were the deacon's daughters, and you know that always came with like a little bit of oh, if people were watching us, Sister Mary Catherine. Catherine. <laughs> um, we laugh about that now because yeah. it was the daughters, deacon's daughters, and yeah. so we kind of yeah. we weren't a singing group, but we did think kind of treated us like that a little bit. But I always find it to be a blessing that we that you know. Um, that um, we were a part of it. it. It really, truly makes me a huge part of who I am today. Yeah. And, um, and and I'm passing that on to my daughter and my daughter sees that. And it, it's just an amazing thing to, you know, have the memories of my daughter holding my dad's hand up on the altar during the Our Fathers and to be a part of that. It, it brought the church to life for me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, it really is, um, it's a blessing. It is a true blessing to have somebody acknowledge they have that calling and to have been a part of that was and I, an amazing blessing. I don't look at it as, and I think a lot of people are like, oh, he's a deacon and he's a dad and he's a grandfather. I just think that it's is a different part of who he, he is. is. And person. yeah, he's all the same person. And so it's like, I, and it's so funny because everybody says to me, if I've helped out at church and I'll refer to him as Deacon Bill, and they're like, why do you call him Deacon Bill? And I said, I don't know. It's just that, you know, yeah. it's just part of a different part of his personality. Yeah. And I, don't look at it as, you know, a, a, a job or whatever. I look at it as it's just another part of who he is, and it's fun to just watch him and I think it's been get proud. Mm -hmm. I think my dad's personal response to God's calling 
gave us a chance to have a more intimate and deeper mm -hmm. personal response to our own things. Oh yeah. You know, I remember like a confirmation, like when we all had to step up and say, I want to do this. Mm -hmm. Like I felt like my personal response to that was so deep. Yes. And I've been so incredibly grateful that he offered us that because we had so many chances to visit it and met it. Mm -hmm. And it's, I mean, it's an amazing thing to be able to say, your father married you, your father's <laughs> baptized your children, yeah. your father's been a part of those sacraments. Yeah. It brings a true uh, family meaning to every sacrament that the church has. Um, he also was at our confirmations. And he, it's just, yeah. it's, it's our kids' confirmations. Yeah. Yeah. It's a blessing and a gift that really is priceless and it's, it's something that I think defines who we, we are, are yeah. and who our family is.